world. Very interesting topic and this chapter is also a very creating a very vast environment for students to learn about the animal and plant. So without wasting time, I am going to start about the topic. Actually in this video, I am going to terminalize some specific terms which are been given in your textbook and you find difficult to know about this one. So I will make you understand very easily. So the topic is virgin vegetation, the vegetation which took place without any human aid, without the help of human, those plants which grow by themselves on this earth is known as natural vegetation. Flora, plant, type of group or a particular area, fauna means animal groups, bio, eco diversity, ecosystem, the place where animal and plant both are living together is known as biome. Maru Sali, by the name it is very easily understood. Maru, Maru means that the land of deserts and desert area. So, whatever the desert area used to come in India, Hades, Rajasthan, Rana Paksha area, or Gujarat, so these are can be termed as Maru Sali. So I hope you understand this talk for more and I request you all to share and subscribe this video to as people as many as possible. Classes in the series of videos of class 9, chapter Natural Vegetation and Wildlife in Geography. In this video, you are going to know about factors responsible for natural vegetation. Factors means what the reason on which the growth of plant and the nature of plant depends. So, without wasting time, we proceed to the lecture here. So, these are categorized into five types. These factors are categorized into five types. And broadly, they are categorized into two types: relief and climate. 
सो रिलीज मीन्स द नेचर ऑफ लैंड फॉर्म्स सो लैंड सो यू हैव सीन इन लास्ट चैप्टर द लैंड फॉर्म इज एट डेजर्ट प्लेन्स प्लेटो माउंटेन्स सो दिस टाइप ऑफ लैंड आर देयर सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द लैंड फॉर्म देयर इज अ सोइल फॉर्म आल्सो डिपेंड सो इन प्लेन एल्वियल सोइल माउंटेन माउंटेन सोइल डेजर्ट एरिड सोइल सो दिस टाइप ऑफ सोइल्स आर बीइंग आल्सो डिपेंड अपॉन द लैंड सो लैंड different types and soil different types affect the growth and nature of plant understood so uh, next topic is climate climate temperature temperature the amount of or the nature of sunlight how they in the sea depends and clearly just visualize the or scenario the type of plant occurs there so amount of rain the total sunlight which is given to the plant Will be clearly just you can see that how is the nature and growth of the plant. Photo period the sunlight and this is sunlight the temperature also be interconnected and this precipitation precipitation is rainfall rainfall snow hail this can be seen so these are the categories in climate type. So all together the factors are five categories are it two leaf and climate leaf land and soil land different types desert mountain and the soils are there. And according to this land, soils are also categorized: alluvial soil, black soil, red soil, yellow soil. Temperature, temperature means according to the nature where the it is present here, and through this the sunlight is being given, the photo period. And precipitation means amount of rainfall or snow which occurs here. It just shows about the animal and plant types in a particular area. I hope you understand this topic, and I request you all to share and subscribe this video to as many people as possible.
in the last one you have seen about the factors through which the types of vegetation changes according to the land, soil, temperature, photo period and precipitation. So because of these factors, the size, type, nature of plant and animal changes. So without wasting time, you are going to know about the type of vegetation. So let us start. So tropical, first type is tropical evergreen. Tropical means the place where heat is being here around equator place. Near to the equator. Evergreen means which remains throughout the year. Green. That means the shedding or the fall of leaf is not in a particular time and duration. The fall of leaf is going on throughout the year and new leaves can used to come throughout the year. So evergreen forest. First point is maximum rainfall. The places which are having maximum rainfall that is more than 200 cm. No particular time of shed there is. I just told you. Height is all around 60 or more than 60 meters to can be there. The flower and plant is the ebony and you have been seeing the one out of rhinoceros and this all the things are being mentioned in book. So no need to discuss about that. Tropical deciduous. The word here is deciduous. Tropical is here. The rainfall may and around be 200 centimeter, 100 centimeter, centimeter. So the word to be discussed is this is deciduous. Deciduous means the plant or tree which has particular time to shed their leaves. Where in a plant there is a particular duration of time where the leaves fall. Those plants are known as deciduous forests. So they have particular time to shed their leaves. They are categorized into two types. Moist, that means the places which handle to 200 centimeter there is more. Dry deciduous, that means 70 to 100 centimeter rainfall. The places are being classified on the basis of rainfall. 100 to 200 centimeter moist, 100 to or 70 to 100 centimeter dry. Now next is the thorn forest or shrub, the forest or the land or the plant which are in particular or desert areas. So they are known as what thorn and shrubs, less than 70 centimeter rainfall, that is Rajasthan, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, and other places are there. One most important topic is that within this thorn and shrub, the plant of this area have very little leaves or no leaves. Their roots are deep penetrating to extract or absorb water from inside and their stems are succulents. They store water too much. That's why the people who used to migrate or are travelers used to search for these plants near about the oasis. Oasis is the place in the desert where there is a water availability and plant also. So they used to squeeze it and drink water from that plants. Next is mountain forest. Mountain forest categorized into three types according to the height of the places. So, at 1000 to 2000 meter wet temperate forest, the places 1500 to 3000 temperate forest, alpine more than 3600 meters area, the height in area, they are known as alpine forest. Last one to discuss is mangrove forest. Mangrove means tidal. Tidal means the places or the Trees which are near to the coastal areas where the water used to come and just wash away the soil, and the roots are being seen as the breathing one. They are uprooted and they are seen as the breathing one. They, they just they are you know, taking breath. So they are also known as breathing root plants. So tidal forest and breathing root trees can be seen in the mangrove forest. So I hope you understand this whole topic very easily, and I have uh, attached animation to this one. And I request you all to subscribe and share this video as many as possible and I have given description link for Facebook and Instagram also so you go with that links also and just you share it to as people as many as possible.
medicinal plant. This medicinal plant topic is to be discussed in this video. And this medicinal plant by the name is itself it is called medicinal. That is the plant that is being used as a medicine to cure several problems. So first thing is sir, the sir, the sir, cure blood pressure. So it is used to cure blood pressure. Jamun, cannulating and diuretic digestion. It is used to cure digestion and sleeping problem. Arjun cure ear ache, ear pain, regulate blood pressure. High and low pressure can be regulated by the help of Arjun. Now Babur. Babur cure eye sores. That is eye problem. That is the redness of the eyes. And Neem antibiotic. Antibiotic is very common to the villages and urban areas. They are used by the people in a several circumstances. Tulsi cure cough and cold. Very common in the winter season. They used to be the people used to make kada and all and used to make tea with the help of this one. Kakshidar, asthma, ulcer, digestive problems. So these plants are used with this particular or some basic or important conditions which are patients are in trouble. So I hope you understand this and you learn this particular underlying content and it will be very easy for you. You can model. So I hope you understand this one. And I request you all to share and subscribe this video to ask for as many as possible. And I have given my Facebook and Instagram link in my description box. You can go through this.
topic wildlife wildlife the life which are being found in forests and jungles so this can be known as wildlife so this few things you need to be keep in your mind and the map of india along with the national sanctuaries bird sanctuaries wildlife national park are being attached here you learn those national park wildlife sanctuaries bird sanctuaries these are very important for the board examination or the class 9 and for the competitive examination also so there are 19000 animals species 2000 birds to 5 6 species national park is 89 wildlife sanctuaries for 19 bird sanctuaries the topic to discuss here is endangered species endangered species means the species which are going to be completely vanish or get be completely dead on this earth they are known as endangered they are going to be end endangered now as in which are get end for example cheetah in india are get extinct now they are being brought from namibia south africa to india just to restore their breed so these are the topics are we discuss here i hope you understand it animation plus the map of india for the particular keys three things are we attached to learn those contents and i hope you will be getting good numbers i request you all to subscribe and share this video to as people as much as possible it is very hard to request by form to all the student of this india and world and you can go with this videos in the description is i given facebook and instagram id you can go with this one also